Hi everyone. There is so much misinformation going around about coronavirus that I have to do an update. And I have to do an update so that you keep safe. Now, the coronavirus is a virus that is encapsulated in a lipid shell. This lipid is like an oil and it disintegrates with soap. Yes, it is killed. The virus itself is killed with disinfectant but soap is your best friend. So I want to show you how you can break the chain and it's hand washing, it is basic hygiene, but there is a way that you need to do it to make sure that the virus is encapsulated into the mycel or the bubble and drains down the sink and doesn't stay on your hands because these can kill people. It stays on shiny surfaces for anything up to nine hours. Now our hands also have oils that are secreted on them. So if we can break that layer of oil with the soap and wash it down the drain, then that's an extra layer of protection. So this is my soap dispenser and I'm going to put a generous amount of soap on my hands and I'm going to create lots of bubbles, lots of bubbles. Now, my hands are not washed. All I have done is covered them with soap. So there's a method that we use in nursing to make sure that every aspect of our hands is being washed. So we start off rubbing the palms together and then we cross our hands over and we interlace our fingers and we do that five or 10 times and then we swap over and we do it the other five or 10 times. And then we interlace our hands. Now this is to wash this part of our hands. And we interlace our hands and we do that five or 10 times. And then we swap over and do the other side. Then we do our thumbs. Now sometimes I also do my fingers. Just an extra thing. Then I do my wrists. <laughs> and we had a teacher at school who used to say, screw, don't pull. Then I make sure that every ounce of soap has gone down the drain. And I try and avoid keeping my head over the top of the basin because I don't want to inhale anything that is coming off my hands. Now, ordinarily I would just use a hand towel at home, but often people are out in public places. So use a paper towel and dry them thoroughly. And in a public space, you can use the paper towel to turn off the handle. And as a nurse, this is what keeps us safe every day, making sure that these aren't transferring virus or bacteria particles to other places where they can be picked up. So my routine of the day, when I get home from work, the first thing I do is I get out of my clothes and I have a shower and I wash my clothes. I don't want this particular virus to be transferred to anyone. And I am washing my hands probably every hour. So let's stay safe. Let's not hoard a whole heap of toilet paper because you're not going to need it. And if you've got a bucket load of toilet paper, you're not gonna need to buy any for a very long time. So please don't have a think, particularly if you're hoarding staples, have a think about the elderly and those people who live week to week who can only do shopping on a particular day. And if they turn up to the supermarket and there's nothing to buy, then they have nothing to eat. And that's the biggest tragedy. 
So wash your hands, don't panic buy food, and let's all stay safe. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.